we're anchoring up this pallet and the hose because there's so much pressure shooting out. We don't have it on something heavy like a skid steer. The hose will come around and break somebody's ankle. Oh, yeah. oh buddy! Brother, it's been a year and a half since you've grazed the AO fishing channel. But <laughs> you've been enjoying my videos? What videos? My the video like my livelihood. You make videos. For you bandwagoners, you itty bittyers that didn't see me struggle for two years with no views. I pretty much started my career in their backyard pond. Oh. <laughs> Some of me and Davey's first videos we ever filmed together. One of my favorite clips of all time. Came from a tree that's now on ground. Oh no. I'm going to the tree. I'm not very good with navigation. Crap. Andrew, I got a fish. Oh shoot. Andrew. Darn. Andrew. God, jeez. Oh, heavens. God, help me. I got him. I don't know what to do here. Oh, he's in the boat. I'm gonna try and get over there now. Give me your paddle. No, I meant the, the <laughs> end of it so I can pull you in. <laughs> so, roughly a year ago, they hired somebody to come out here and dig a canal down the main channel of the lake. They were hoping this would give some depth to the pond. A year later, the fishery is pretty much trash. It's been bad. It's been terrible. So if you haven't noticed by now, we are in the process of completely draining Coltoni's pond. Uh-huh. Socks and flops. Oh, so I wish I had my new Guggen rubbers available at GuggenSquad.com. So what used to be one of my favorite fisheries is now a completely pretty much dry mud field. You can really see where they dug out the channel there's no telling how much water is still down in there. The main lake that has been here since the very beginning, now about a six inch deep puddle. She's pumping. some trouble getting this thing to suck water up ah, wow suck my my pinky a little so the way this thing works we have a flotation device right here keep the pump up so it's not sucking in mud we have holes coming down the pipe they go up the hill into the diesel motor down the hose and on the back side of the dam how's she coming buddy she's coming along very nice very nice very nice wow dude this thing is powerful did it, did it suck your hand at all? Yeah. It sucked mine too. I was yeah. kind of scared. I got a little nervous there yeah. for a minute. Thought you lost a flangey. <laughs> what are the chances that we could take that block and sit right here? Could be from having to do a little work, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. There's like a foot of just muscle right here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. It is hot. When we get this thing drained, these fish are not going to have long. I could be overthinking this just because I'm nervous we're going to lose some bass, but we're seeing Brim trying to swim up the wall out of the main channel. The first thing I'm thinking, even the tiny fish, don't have enough oxygen and we still got to pump out a lot of water oh we're anchoring up this pallet and the hose because there's so much pressure shooting out we don't have it on something heavy like a skid steer the hose will come around and break somebody's ankle oh, yeah. oh buddy <laughs> That's what I was saying we didn't want to do. 
You got a little out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> That is as much water as the pump can push out. This entire creek is closed off. It's about six inches deep, and then we have a foot of just dirt and muck. I don't know how big, but I'm hoping really big fish trapped in there. We're gonna walk down, try to scare them to one end, throw cast nets, swoop through with dip nets, and see what this pond actually had in it. What's the biggest fish we're gonna get? I'll film you too. The biggest fish we're gonna get today. Yep. I'm sticking with my four pounds, even though I saw a catfish already that was nice. <laughs> She's thick. She was thick, for sure. A fat Sally, as some might would call it. Where are you going with? Poundage. Oh, uh, um, uh, 5.12. Okay. I'm sticking with the big girl. There's no telling. How big of a big girl? I'm, I'm hoping seven, dude. I really am. <laughs> I'm definitely hoping seven. If we can pull a seven out of here, it'd what? Be, it'd be top tier. It'd be top tier, for sure. I think Norm would be shaking. You guys ready? I'm ready. Dude, I am super excited about getting these fish out, but I'm more worried about is the snakes. Oh, dude, we're, we're not getting those. We're gonna leave those. Leaving the snakes? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That's a cliff and a half. <laughs> Dang, son. Dang, homie. That was impressive. I feel like I may go down a little deeper than that, though. <laughs> How much you weigh? I weigh about mm, too much. You've moved with such speed and grace. All right, brother. Let's see what you got. Just like this right here. We are in the creek, gents. Hey, hold on a second. I told you I was gonna be stuck a little more. Oh my gosh, dude, the muck is bad. The water is only that deep below the surface. Everything else, muck. We're gonna have leeches in our crevices, boys. You love a good crevice leech? What if the biggest fish is in this small puddle at the very beginning? It's probably a moccasin just waiting for us. This would be a moccasin. <laughs> like that? Yeah, man. It's kind of obvious you have kids now. Yeah, I've been coming up with these dad jokes ever since my first baby was born. I say we just keep nets in front just in case. You never know. You never know, guys. Just, you're good, dude. Don't even worry about it. Oh, my gosh! Oh, is that a fish? Yeah, it jumped out of the water and hit me. What the heck, man? I think that was a bass. I literally had a bass jump out and just slap me. Don't worry about it. Oh my god! I think as long as we try to make some commotion, make sure these fish hear us, we kinda can like scare them. Kind of like we're scared snakes away. Right. You too? Huh? Yeah, that's how I scare my snakes away. I swear. I'm kidding, dude. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's commotion up there. There's definitely fish in here. Oh, I almost got him. Oh my! Dude, what the heck, man? There's small fish everywhere. Dude, we're gonna need a bigger net. I think we're gonna need a bigger net. They're swimming straight at us, Colt. You see them? Oh gosh, one just swam straight into me. Oh, that was a bass. <laughs> I just felt him hit my leg, bro. He's right there. Oh, you got him! Yes, Let's sir! Go. Let's go. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. That's a good little bass. I got you, buddy. You're not going to die today. Maybe next week. That bass doesn't even realize how lucky oh. he is. Oh, he's almost got one. Am I going to be the last one to catch one? Oh, oh he just went on the bank. I am going to be the last one to catch one. <laughs> Two bass saved. Good pound and a half for the start. All right, we got to be able to catch something right here. Right? Oh, he's coming. Got him! <laughs> yes, sir. First one. <laughs> There's no way I'm lifting that. First trip is done. I would say success. I would say success too. We got three bass. Success. Colton's got lost for sure. 
started at the very tip, came down to that little wall. Now we're going from that wall all the way down, far as the eye can see. But I think they are slipping through us, so we might have to come up with some type of net. I felt a couple come through my legs back there for sure. I had them hitting me in my, like, rectum. Really? Yeah. Nice. Love that. All right. I see two little mud clouds. Good sign. Oh. Is that real? Yeah, it was real, bro. What you mean? You think I did that on purpose? <laughs> What's so bad is I filmed for you guys for a second to watch one of these two fall. Yeah. And little Your did GoPro. I know, I should have turned the GoPro 180 degrees. Dude, if you could see your own GoPro right now, you would be so impressed. Oh, I didn't get any of that. <laughs> no, you, you got the impact. Oh. Is that real? Yeah, it was real, bro. <laughs> what you mean? Your body's not a trash can, so quit treating it like one. I do know how it is to bust your butt in a boat or fish all day and end up with some swampy panties. <laughs> Underwear. Either way, I've tried most hydration options and they leave me feeling like a piece of garbage. Which is why I've become a massive fan of Element. Element is a healthy electrolyte drink mix. It's pretty tasty and it has everything you need and nothing that you don't. So that means you get the salt to replenish your body and not the sugar to give you that lower belly flap. Element can even prevent oh, sleeplessness, headaches, muscle fatigue. Everything that makes you feel like a piece of trash because you don't have the necessary electrolytes. Right now, Element is offering a free sample pack with any order. That's eight different flavors to try all the salty options. So, if you would like to try Element or get a free sample pack, make sure to go to drinkelement.com slash aofishing. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash aofishing to get a free sample pack with your first order. Now back to today's video. I'm not seeing a lot of motion there. They probably all made their way down to the deep agua. Wow, it's kind of deep right here. That's where they're gonna be. There's like a man moving right now, dude. Yeah, like Shawshank Redemption trying to get outside the prison. <laughs> you know how I got my name? How? Oh. Andrew Shawshank. Really? Yeah. So you're kind of like Dufresne. That's us. I liked it. I'm kind of like Boz. Dude, I'm not seeing any sign of life in this stretch. Yeah, you'd think that one would be jumping. Dude, this mud is nasty, bro. Bro, you just went to your knees. Oh, God. Did you get hit? I don't see them. Well, it is scary when they just hit you randomly. Just went in between. <laughs> it wasn't me. Ooh, I'm deep. I'm deep, deep, deep. As in, like, kind of scary deep? Uh huh. Like quicksandish? Oh! Dude, they're jumping all around us. No way, that was a big one, dude. That was a two pounder. We gotta get a big net. This is trash. Bro, you got shiners in here? I don't know, but that horse fly just got me, boy. I didn't like it, it really pissed me off. Dude, we're gonna catch something right here. Or scare them into the hole. Our fish are still kicking. We don't have too much water. I lost my aerator. We got one more 30 yard stretch. We're gonna drive these things to the pond. It's about a minute and a half away. Then we're gonna come back and hit a cast net the whole way down. See if there's any big bass. Oh, now that was nice, Colt. Nice save too, if I might add. I wish this water wasn't 105 degrees. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Half of this is just mud. Like I'm in mud up to my knees. I'm legit up to my knee in muck. Mud. It feels like I'm up to my knees in buttercream icing. The water is only this deep. The rest of that's just mud. There's a lot of bait back here. It's like they're all getting pushed down this way. 
That's disappointing, man. Woo. Oh, dude, we gave it everything we had. We need to come back with a big net. And use it as a sane. A sane it up. I think that's the... I think we're going to catch them doing that. I think we probably missed... A well... Hundreds. Yeah, we missed a ton. Let's go get a big net. Oh, yeah. Your pine looks like my first two years on YouTube. Looks like it right now. Here, YouTube. <laughs> we have made it to the bass refuge. He's in prosper, buddy. Oh, check out the black mark on that one's nose, dude. That is sick. I've yeah. never seen one that actually have the black marks. It's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish. Two fish saved. I don't know why. Why is Woo! Go through there and make sure I'm not missing anymore. Yes, sir. That is the last one. See ya. That's a good feeling, man. For sure. Saving some bass. There is potentially 50 more that we can catch. For sure. I had about and 10 the 5 one two pounder. You still holding on to that? Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. I, I've kind of lost hope on my 7 pounder, not going to lie. Right. I, I've lost hope on my 4 pounder. Really? For sure. Your channel. You see that? Nicely done. I'm impressed, brother. I'm impressed that mullet too. looks better the more I'm with you. Yes. Wow. Graceful dude. as a gazelle. Outro. I'm already feeling confident about this, guys. I mean, check this out. We've got a net stretch. Literally the width of our channel, our canal. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't think they're going to get around us. We just got to make sure we stay tight with the edges and don't go too fast. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Wow, my camera is leaning. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do. I think you might have liked it. <laughs> All right, Colt. Pull it up. Dude, it is a good thing you're draining this lake. Because <laughs> there ain't no fish in here. That is so disappointing, dude. I know for a fact we were going to get one. What's that right there? A little leaf or a hat? <laughs> oh, 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 dude. I almost got him with my hat. That, that was, he was fat, like chunky. like. That was a good one. Let's finish strong. Oh, oh, the heck was that? Brim got you, man. What the, oh. <laughs> Brim will get you. All right. The final stretch. We're about to start feeling a bump. Like I'm already feeling one bump. Inside the net, I think. Wow, dude, this water is like a hot tub. It is very hot. These fish do not have long. Those are up. Big knot. Anything? Oh, oh yes, my sir. boy. Let's go. Good work, Colt. Get them up here to dry land. There's 40 fish in there, two hand-sized brim. There we go. He's got a cool spot on him. Another bass. I'm going to get some more water for him. All right, guys. Got you some fresh H2O. Some nice oxygenated water. All right. Yeah? Good one? Look oh. at you go, brother. Yes, sir. Dude, we're getting bunches now. I knew this was going to work. That's a good little bluegill. And another bass. Saved. No shot, dude. Whew. Looks like Lojo's backyard pond up in here, dude. Burn. Wow. They're just jumping around, dude. I gotta catch one. Oh, did oh. you? Oh. oh, that one landed in my pants. Dude, this is crazy. Dude. Too short. We definitely got one in there right now. Yeah. Oh, we got one in there now. Oh my gosh. Pull, pull her tight. Let me see him. Oh! Oh! Whew! Well, you found the secret sauce, brother.
the seine net. Who would have guessed it? It's literally the perfect place to use a seine net. And we don't even have a legit seine net. We just have a cast net that we're utilizing. But we just came across this bull cat. Oh, he's got a clamper on him. Biggest fish so far. Apparently. You're welcome for being saved. Oh, energy's dead. I'm not gonna lie. We've been busting tail. We have, we have just a little bit left. And we're gonna be done. Wow, I just sat on a brim. Not the best lighting we've ever had, but the fish are successfully at the lake. We're gonna dip these suckers in, call it a night. Woo! Lovely. Dude, we got a bunch of bass. That's like the third load in a row. And a few bait fish. Guys, I feel like that was a successful day. Very successful day. I feel like that was one of the most fun videos I've filmed in a while. I had a blast. Sure. I kind of let down with the size of the bass that we got. Yeah, we all got it wrong. Dead wrong. Whoever guessed the lowest won. Yeah, big win big win if you guys enjoy these fish rescues you want to see us try to save some more bass make sure to drop a comment if you want to see any more updates on old colt tony's pond let me know thanks for helping smalls no problem brother thank you guys for watching see you on the next one peace anybody else getting really tired no me neither iconic memories out here caught a snapping turtle. caught a snapping turtle snapping turtle caught a snapping turtle <sighs> go ahead Ha 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 ha!